In this video, I am going to provide you with another idea. I will put a link at the end of the video with another method for figuring the height for a stairway. And uh, I have one where you're using a bunch of um, stakes. You're going to drive some stakes in the ground and kind of use a water level or a level to figure the different heights until you get to the top. But in this one here, I think we can do it with a string and a couple of stakes and it should work for any other types of if you have a different type of hill now the reason why i'm making this video here is because someone said they had a really steep hill and it was rocky and they couldn't drive any stakes into the ground and i uh, kind of came up with this idea here where you can use a string to figure out the angle and then figure out how many steps and how tall the risers are going are going to be and it's relatively simple but I do understand that uh, since I kind of figured it out I'm going to have a better idea of what's going on than you do and if you do have problems with this uh, example here I'm using feel free to share your problems with me in the comment area and I'll see if I can help so basically what we're going to be looking at will be to try and figure out the hypotenuse or the longest part of a right triangle and, uh, and and in order to do that, you might need to actually raise the triangle, the base of the triangle, the line you're going to be using for the straight line up. And in this case, we raised it up about 30 inches. And I just kind of wanted to kind of wanted to give you an idea of what I'm doing here. If I was just just to draw a line from here or try and create a straight line from here to here, where I want the stairs to start and stop, I'm going to have a part of the hill in the way. So in order to do that, we're going to need to drive some stakes in the ground and um, raise them up to where we can't, or should I say, won't be hitting the hill at any point so that we can create a nice straight line. So basically this right here, I just kind of put it in here as an example. This is what you're going to be doing. You're going to be getting two stakes and driving them in the ground. Now these stakes will need to be level. Otherwise you will have problems when you are figuring out your angles or your line you're measuring. If this is leaning an inch this way, you're not gonna have the exact measurement here that you need to create the stairway. So this stake and the lower stake needs to be vertically plumb. And of course, we will attach another piece of wood to the stakes, drive another one into the ground, make sure that this one here is level. This is going to be a guide for your framing square. And uh, you can simply slide your framing square in either direction you need to, to um, kind of figure out what, your, what the length of a riser could be or the length of a step. And uh, you can do it by simply dividing the length of the string into um, certain increments. So, for example, uh, if you have a total length, and I already figured this one out here. Let me pull up the notepad here. We have a 31 feet, 7.5 inch hypotenuse. That's the length of the string. And if we divide, we can divide it by any numbers, but I divided it by 16 because I already did the math here. So the overall length in inches, 31 feet, 7 inches is 379 inches, um, 0.5. We divide it by 16, that gives us 23.72. 23.72 is basically one foot, if you think about it, it's a quarter inch less than um, two feet. So our numbers are right, pretty much right on here. So it's going to give us a 7.5 riser and uh, 7.5 inches and 22.5 or 22 and a half inch tread. So take that away. You can go back and look at it if you need to again. So what we're going to be doing is taking the length of the string from here to here. And if for some reason you can't measure the length of the string when it's in this position. Simply take the string, cut it at the point where you 
had it at and then take it down to a horizontal surface somewhere, someplace flat, and then measure it down there. So if you have a real steep grade, something like that, um, then uh, you're probably going to need to measure it somewhere else um, if you can't climb up the hill or I, I don't know what the problem would be. Just kind of throwing out another idea there. So this is our angle. Remember, we're up 30 inches. And of course, here is our stairway. We have 16 increments in here. Feel free to pause it and uh, pause the video, stop it and count them uh, if you want to. Each one of them will have a 22 and a half inch deep step, tread and a seven and a half inch riser. Another view of it there. Remember, it is off the ground. You can, you've got to keep this in mind when you're working with this. If you raise it up off the ground, you need to be able to subtract it somehow. Don't uh, start excavating or doing something and, and then realize you've got to go down another four feet or something like that. So very important. Whenever you raise it off the ground, you're going to need to somehow lower it into the um, dirt, into the soil or build something, um, build some type of a platform to make everything work out. You can always build a raised deck here. So here we can see how far off the ground we are. And this gives you an idea of what the stairway could look like if you built a straight stairway using this method with the straight line uh, and then breaking everything into increments. And then of course using the level and the guide board here to figure everything out. And if I wanted to add another step to this and lower the riser, riser I could do it by simply um, dividing the, instead of dividing it into 16 increments, I could divide it into 17 increments or 18 increments um, to, if I want to make my treads a little smaller. And, uh, um, and of course, just refigure the stairway accordingly. Now in this example, I went ahead and lowered it into the ground to give you an idea what it would uh, look like and of course how much soil you might need to remove. Um, so this right here, you, you've got what's important. You've got the line to figure it out. But you've also, you're also going to need to connect a line, something from here to up here and to do that, you to get a straight line, you might need to start removing some of the hillside. And, uh, and of course, this might also give you an idea of, you know what, if I have to remove 30 inches of dirt here, um, I, you, you might not even want to build uh, the set of stairs. Or you could always move it forward, um, backwards. You might be able to raise the height of it, uh, something. But here you can see where we moved it forward and created a longer uh, walkway here and then simply we won't we don't got to remove any soil but we're going to have to install some type of um, supports probably to uh, make the stairway a little stronger so that is it for the video the main reason why i wanted to do it was to give you an idea about using a string and a couple of guide boards with a framing square to figure this out. There are other math formulas you can use if you um, if you're pretty good at math um, then I probably don't need to tell you what those formulas are. If I ever do make a video with that, uh, those formulas, I will attach it to this video. But I think this right here it simplifies everything. Um, the, the method that I outlined in the video creates a fairly simple method that uh, makes it possible to build a set of stairs on a hillside and uh, give you an idea what the tread uh, depth is going to be and the riser height.